Hello, and welcome back to another Parasect episode. I'm smiling through the pain. I couldn't think of a better way to start off Spooky Month than to traumatize myself further. Go watch Pokemon Concierge if you have not already. Lots of great Psyduck representation in there. Psyduck looks way too happy. It clearly does not know what's about to happen to it. Okay, that's kind of cute. He loves his little mushroom hat. I would feed it some breadcrumbs, but not if it's bigger than a chihuahua. If it's too big for me to step on and instantly- I want nothing to do with it. I don't want it to exist. But if it's smaller than that, he's cool. Let's see the next fusion. Someone said girthy in my chat and it threw me off. I love it. Oh my god, I love it. Calling all plushie makers everywhere. I have found your next plushie. Its name is Sisect. <laughs> Gebseru, thank you for bringing a smile to my face today. I think this might be the first time I've smiled all stream. I like to imagine it still quacks. Quack. Is that a request? It's not not a request. First non-forced smile. Thank you. Unfortunately, I feel like I look like Voltorb most days. I've worn a scowl for most of my 20s, and it's permanent at this point, I think. The other day, somebody told me I should smile more, and I went... Oh. Para-orb. I don't want to ponder that. Check the alts? Don't tell me what to do. It's Red Ball! From the Red Ball iOS game! I loved you on the App Store. I didn't download you, because I'm 28, but I loved your game on the App Store. Like, the preview, because I didn't buy or download your game. Show me the reverse. I kind of like that. I like that the Pokeball is the mushroom. It's not a mushroom, it's like its shell, it's home, it's... What is Parasect? Is it a crab? Which would mean that the mushroom is like its shell, home, right? So this is a ball crab inside a ball shell? Duh! Uh. If I think too hard, my brain malfunctions. Let's not do that anymore, thank you. Where do I know this from? Is this from Plants vs Zombies? Is this a Grave Eater? No, the Grave Eaters look different, right? Doom Shroom. What do Doom Shrooms do? Do they eat the graves? It's a recurring, recurring plant character within the Plants vs. Zombies franchise. Doom Shroom is a mushroom plant who often serves as an explosive plant exploding into a large mushroom cloud, typically with an accompanying Doom onomatopoeia, dealing massive damage to all zombies within its range. As of Plants vs. Zombies 3, Doom Shroom has appeared in seven games? We've got a celebrity here on the Juber stream this evening. Everybody give it up for Doom Shroom. Doomstrom, I want to thank you for coming on Juber Jabber. Do you have anything that you want to say to the audience? All right! Thank you, Doomstrom! Thanks for coming on! Don't forget to subscribe. Just what I wanted. A pointy parasitic mushroom crab thing. Aw, oh, yes! Bloomin' Onion! Right now at Outback. This stream is not sponsored by Outback. Outback, go. It's going even further beyond. I don't think that it's going Super Saiyan. I think that I want to pick off one of those and eat it because it's delicious. <laughs> okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. I'll admit it. First time ever. I'll admit it. It has gone Super Saiyan. My favorite part about this is that that is Super Saiyan Gotenks. Unless I'm stupid. No, Gotenks' top is blue. That means that has to be either Vegito or Gogeta. I think it's Vegito. Am I am I wrong another time? All Dragon Ball fans who are upset by my mix-up of Super Saiyan 3, Gogeta, and Super Saiyan Ascended 2, Goku, can leave one mean comment under this video. You can say, say do your worst. All right, let's see the reverse. You can't go from Super Saiyan 2 Ascended Goku, see I learned my lesson, to this. It looks like somebody melted Scarecrow from the Batman universe. Please have a ton of cool crystals and a little bit of life in the eyes. I don't think I'm asking for much. <laughs> Why does it look like that? Why does it look like that? <laughs> oh my god! It looks like it would play the fart sound effect out of its mouth. Laser legs? Oh, I do kind of like those. It looks like somebody planted a nuke inside a yellow Jinjo. A yellow what? What is that? You guys don't know Jinjo? From hit game Banjo-Kazooie? Am I Unk? Have I officially transcended into Unk status? This is the saddest day of my life. The bar is low. Show me a Minecraft mushroom. Specifically the red one. For reasons that I don't have to explain. 
Why does it look like a possessed fetus? Huh? Okay, there's two things that immediately came to my mind. Um, okay, you're gonna have to hear me out on this one. The first two things I thought of was Mr. Boss's baby from Smiling Friends and Mr. Krabs when he's naked. Those are the two things that I immediately thought of when I first saw this fusion. Like, the body looks like it goes, eh, 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 eh. He's the shrimp from Shark Tale. Yeah, how about we let me stick the references? I don't think these two look anything alike. How about this is a listening show, all right? How about you leave the references to me? What the fuck is that? Oh my god. You have no idea how many YouTube videos I've seen with this thing in the thumbnail saying, I went magnet fishing in the Atlantic Ocean. I think I prefer this one because it has all the other ghosts of Rotom coming out of the appliances. I like it. It's neat, even though I have no idea what I'm looking at in terms of these appliances. And I don't even want to try to dissect it. It's cool, though. Somebody is going to be dedicated enough to decipher what I'm looking at in here and let me know in the comments. Let's see the reverse. He's just vibing. He looks like his name is Melvin. I have nothing more to say about this fusion. The good news is that Mudkip is usually adorable. I've never seen a Mudkip I didn't like. The bad news is that it's spooky month and I'm doing spooky fusions. And while Parasect may not be spooky, God damn, does it make my skin itch. I think he's about to see a Mudkip he won't like. Oh, right you were. What's going on with its eye? Is that a sprite error? I was gonna ask if those were like bulbous sores on its face until I realized they're just mushrooms. Still hate them. He's molding sad face. Thank you so much. Thy Brody Byron Brown. Thank you for that. Let's see the reverse. Oh, I hate that the fin is poking up through the mushroom. It looks like it's in pain. Like, oh, this hurts my head a lot, but my pincers don't reach. Also, even if they did, it would just stab the fin up top. That's what he thinks every day when he first wakes up, I promise. Why do I want to describe this Stantler as petite? <laughs> I have got to be on a government list somewhere. What a horrible day to have eyes. I'm getting goosebumps. I'm glad that you guys are bringing up zombie deer disease. Something that I think about all the time and totally knew existed before this very moment. It's very real and I'm totally not going to Google it right now. Zombie deer. Chronic wasting disease. What are zombie deer? What is referred to as a zombie deer are actually deer infected with chronic wasting disease, CWD, which is a prion disease. Deer with CWD can appear very unsteady, stumbling a lot, and are often very thin. That would explain the petiteness. They may also show other symptoms related to neurological damage. How worried should people be about getting prion disease? Fortunately, the risk of prion disease from deer appears low if humans limit their contact with deer. Not zero? This is something I can contract if I get jumped by a gang of deer? You had this dream. I did have this dream. I had this dream. I talked about this the other day. I talked about the zombie deer. I forgot I talked about that on stream. I'm glad I can make your dreams come true. It was more of a nightmare and I really would have preferred it not to come true. But I can't believe it. Am I a prophet? Invest in Juber stonks, they're only going up. Let's see the reverse. Oh, this is not much better. The goofy Disney-esque face really distracts from the horrors that are happening on its back. I am taking psychological damage. A sincere fuck you to Homicidal Phone for putting this on my screen. I hate the recent trend of cutesy, like, children-based entertainment fused with just the most horrific visuals you've ever seen in your entire life. Five Nights at Freddy's. Poppy's Playtime. This motherfucker doesn't have two mushrooms making a butt. I don't, I don't even want to know what you're thinking about right now. I know what you're thinking about, but I wish you unthought that. I hate how its neck looks like it was run over by a truck and then it got up and continued living. Finally, somebody willing to set this thing on fire. I thought the back looked like a shell, like a Ninja Turtle, and they were hitting like a cool ass pose, like hitting the meanest leg behind them. And it turns out it's just Moltres dive bombing into the ground, which I don't blame them for. I would too if I looked like this. Cannot say that I am a fan of the stink lines, although they are very well done. Very, very well done. Unfortunately, well done. 
That's my KFC I left under my bed for three months. You, I'm gonna time you out for five minutes. That's enough time to go clean it up. Don't come back until that is sorted. Thank you. This is the meat they're putting in those Taco Bell breakfast. I keep trying to warn people. Let's take a look at the reverse. The only nice thing that I have to say about this fusion is that I like red to yellow gradients. <laughs> That's it. It's got nothing to do with the sprite. I just like the colors. I think the colors are pretty. To see the fusions that didn't make the cut, check out the VOD. Make sure to watch my other videos as well. I upload every single Monday. A special thank you to the supporters of this channel, and thank you for watching.